As someone who, who served it over a long period of time, it's interesting we think about that lack of technology back 30 years ago, but then as CDF, you oversaw uh, the arrival of some incredible technology as we think mm. of the Joint Strike Fighter, for example. There was a huge change, wasn't there, in that 30 years in more ways than one? Oh, it was chalk and cheese. Um, if you look at the equipment we took with us uh, back in, in, in the early 90s compared to what we put soldiers in today, um, I mean, it's just staggering. It's almost sci-fi from then to now. You would think, oh, well, we're going to look like that in the future, have that amount of equipment. I mean, and we had one night sight, essentially, per section, if we were lucky. Uh, today, every soldier carries it. Um, so in, in the sense of sensors, uh, the way you would do business differently, uh, it was just, it's just chalk and cheese. Mm. Yeah. Just finally... This Anzac Day, I know there have been various stories, ongoing issues out of Afghanistan and so on. Not the easiest of time for many uh, veterans. Uh, what's your message to members of the ADF more broadly as Governor-General and a former Chief of Defence? Yeah, I, I, be, I tell them to be very proud in their uniform, be very proud in the history and the legacy that they've been handed down, and I'll talk to that uh, in my address on, on Anzac Day uh, at the War Memorial. Uh, the ADF... I think has served Australia brilliantly over decades, over a century, uh, in, in its various forms, various names. And uh, we have families, people who are co deeply committed to service to the country. They should be proud of it. All Australians own and are part of the same legacy, the Anzac legacy, lest we forget. Governor General David Hurley, I appreciate your time on this important Anzac Day. Thanks. Kieran, thank you very much.